Bubba has gone east and left the door wide open for a talented field to battle it out for the 125 West title. The contenders are young, talented, and hungry for a title to call their own. It's 125 Supercross Racing from Anaheim, California, and it's next on ESPN2. Welcome to Southern California. We're at Anaheim's Edison International Field as we kick things off with the AMA THQ Supercross Series. This is the 125 West Circuit. And hello once again, everybody. I'm Todd Harris. We have got a spectacular evening planned for you and a lot of talent in the 125 West. As we sit at the top of the show, it's a little chilly here in Southern California. Temperature about 44 degrees clear skies and the winds are light but they are present nonetheless well Horace Greeley said go west young man and I'll tell you what Bubba Stewart did not listen he decided to go east and that opens things up for a host of talented riders here in the west right now let's check in with my colleague Cameron Steele well people are you ready for a barber because I know I am and so is everybody here in Anaheim the 125 is getting ready to throw down and let's talk about the eight or nine guys that can win this thing at any time. The Pro Circuit Cal Sci guys look great. Matt Walker is back. He was looking so a little rough in practice, but I think he'll bring it back together. His teammate, Stefan Roncato from France, always someone to look for riding the four soap. And then the big guy right now on that team, Ivan Tedesco, had the fastest time out of everybody in practice today. He was on fire. He's someone that if he wins, he's going to throw it upside down, and I really like that. It's a lot of fun that way. Motor World Suzuki has a guy named Andrew Short in the house. He can throw down like no other. He won the Las Vegas Supercross, the 125 East-West shootout. He's getting ready to move on. And then we got two guys that have won championships before. Nate Ramsey has dropped back to the 125cc class after breaking his femur last year. He looks so good on the Forest O'Connor, I can't believe it. And then another guy ready to bang bars, raise elbows, and throw down one of the funniest guys in Supercross, Travis Preston. He is in the house to rock it hard. It's an all-out war. We don't know who's going to win, but hey, it's going to be a lot of fun watching, so let's do it. The beast is in the east. Brandon Jessamin and James Stewart, both 125 champions from last year, are racing on the east coast. That means one thing. Anybody can win the 125 title this year. Nathan Ramsey, yep, he makes his return to the 125 West Series. He was the 1999 champion, and that makes him the favorite this year. It's now time for the THQ track experience. This action courtesy of 250 Heat Number 2 and Tyler Evans. Tyler Evans wearing our helmet camera going through the whoops. You can see Grant Langston coming up on the other side. Split screen here on the left, what's actually happening on the track. And then on the right, Tyler's view into the whoops. You can see they're side by side. And ladies and gentlemen, Grant is going to open himself up for a little push off the course. Tyler Evans, the camera gets a little crazy. He still hits the triple. That's your THQ track experience. Well, the 30-second board is up. That means we are going to get started in just a moment. The fans are on their feet. It's a chilly night, but you can't tell. Remember, we've got two heats and an LCQ, which all leads up to a 22-man main event as we take a look at the Thor starting grid. Travis Preston is in there, as is Andrew Short, Chris Gosler, and Ivan Tedesco, the main players. Keep your eye on them. It's a long straightaway into that first corner, Cameron, and look at this. They are piling it up, but some of the riders are getting away. Number 29 is out in front. He will grab the whole shot. Ivan Tedesco getting started with it very quickly. Tedesco has been on fire in practice. In day qualifying, he is going to be tough to pass. He was the fastest rider in qualifying. Hot sauce. Ivan Tedesco makes a jump over to Kawasaki, and right now the folks in green have got to be loving this. Tedesco out in front. Ah, right on. So a battle there. The Honda riders, Chris Gossler, in second place right now. The Goose right behind him, just looking for an opportunity to move up. But he's got company right behind him as well. It's a one, two, three man race with a fourth one coming into play. The 910 is Johnny Marley from Oklahoma. A solid rider, been having a lot of good looking practice all day long. And right now, 
They are getting ready to battle it out. The green flag is out, which means go race them, boys, and they are going to dice it all the way. Well, I'll tell you what, right off the bat, Tedesco just wasted no time to jump out in front. Now the goose, Chris Gossler, trying to reel him in. And Marley, where did he come from? He's sitting third right now. He's not only sitting third, but he is pushing hard. You can see him trying different lines, moving back and forth, picking a different line there than Little Goose. And Goose having a win one night at the U.S. Open of Supercross in Vegas back in October. And right now, Marley showing him a tire there on the inside, but Goose with the better line. You can see him jumping through the whoops, maybe a little more aggressively, a little more confident. Chris Gossler, number 35, right there from Victorville, California. As we go back and look at the replay one more time, Cameron. You know, Tedesco did the smart thing, got away from it all. Definitely, and it's a really fast start. So you see two riders getting together there. Something's got to give. He pushes out of the tough block. So for safety, old days, they were hay bailed. Now there's something a little better for the riders. You see them getting together there. Not quite able to get all the numbers, but someone has to push off the course. Takes a little bit of tumble. Looks like the number 41, if I'm not mistaken. So Brian Gray, the factory Suzuki rider, taking a digger right out of the game. Meanwhile, back to racing action. Your leader continues to be Ivan Tedesco out in front. We've got a nice little race going here. Gossler sits in second. Three, four, and five, and the Battle Royale is raging on. It's number 87, Gibson, trying to move up on Marley. Well, Gibson spent some time overseas this year, gaining confidence. He's been looking great on the motorcycle. Star racing team rider, and right now, he's looking like he wants to find a line. Right now, following Marley, he's also got some company behind him. Something you don't want to have. You got to look in front and behind, which means you're looking for a line to get around, but also trying to block or keep in front of the rider behind you. Looks like Brian Johnson behind him. Actually, I believe that could be one of his teammates. And it is. Well, just to let you know, Ivan Tedesco grabbed the whole shot and has not looked back. So it's Tedesco, Gosler, and Johnson, one, two, and three. Ivan Tedesco continues to lead this, the first heat of the 125 from Anaheim, California. He got the whole shot. He has been a 50-yard lead over 35, Chris Gosler, and Tedesco has looked very sharp from the get-go. Remember, this is only a six, six-lap race with riders one through nine going to the main event, Cameron, everyone else going to an LCQ. Well, it's a chilly night in Anaheim, but it's getting hot in here. The Supercross is heated up. Hot sauce Ivan Tedesco from New Mexico. He won a race last year at Pontiac, having injury take him out part of the season. He is back. I talked to him just before we got started here tonight. He says, I'm going to take a little bit of nap or rest. I I'm feeling good tonight, so you know when they can rest up, he is feeling at ease. And I'll tell you, when he wins a race, as I've said before, he will throw down a mean whip. Well, he just went by and took a look over his mechanics. No worries thus far because he continues to strengthen his lead. Chris Gossler, though, is not giving up the bone right now. He is closing in on him, but it is still Gossler, some 50 yards behind your leader, number 29, Ivan Tedesco. Gossler, number 35 sits in second place and in third it is marley number 910. and it looks like andrew short motor race motor world races.com pulling up on jeff gibson right now so looking for a spot maybe move up from fifth to fourth and andrew has had the speed he's been looking great carrying the flag i mean he has been the fastest rider for suzuki and right now he wants to get around you see the different lines there hopping off the top and he makes the pass andrew short will move up into fourth place so Andrew Short makes quick work of the Yamaha rider, moves into position. Meanwhile, Travis Preston, we haven't yet to hear from him. He won this race last year, but the top three still go. Tedesco, Gossler, Marley, and Gibson sits in fourth with Short actually overtaking Gibson. So put Short's name in the top four. You mentioned Preston. He's currently running in the top six, so he is in qualifying position. Nine riders will make it to the main event directly. The rest will go to the last chance qualifier. White flag is out. What does that mean? final lap ladies and gentlemen andrew short is looking good and feeling good but i know he wanted to be in front kind of the quiet killer i like to call him. not really a killer but a guy that can take people to the edge he can pass at any given time from colorado very solid and right now looks like jeff gibson maybe has some people in his mirror as we watch ivan tedesco take the whoops 
Number 29, Ivan Tedesco, who made the jump over to Kawasaki this year, and I think right now the folks at Team Green are very happy he did. He got the whole shot, and he has not looked back. Chris Gosler has tried to track him down. He currently sits in second place, and Marley, number 910, is in third place. But as Cameron pointed out, this is the white flag lap, and it's one more big turn for Tedesco. He will pick up the victory. Your winner, 125, heat number one, Ivan Tedesco. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan Tedesco, hot sauce, throwing down the record books, the first winner of the year, Chris Gosser, Andrew Short, and right now, Jamie Little is with our winner, Ivan Tedesco. Making a lot of people happy starting off the night, right? Ivan, you had a big smile on your face coming into the race tonight. You could tell you're back with confidence this year and 100% healthy. Yeah, this year, you know, I did a lot of testing with my new bike, the Kawasaki 250F, and bikes is great. As you can see, I got the whole shot and uh, just rode a good race, and... Uh, I'd like to thank my team for just building me such a great bike and uh, been working hard this year, so it's, it's paying off. You know, there's always a big debate, two-stroke, four-stroke, and supercross, and so far, so good on that new bike. Yeah, it's really good. You know, last year I, sh I struggled with my starts, and, uh, you know, this year, obviously, they got better, so hopefully I can keep that going for the main event and, uh, you know, go from there. All right. Hot sauce, as they like to call them, we'll see them in the main event. This is it, heat number two, 125 West. We are going six laps with 20 riders. One through nine go to the main event. Everyone else, Cameron, has to go through the LCQ if they want to make it to the big show. And good to see that man back on the starting line. Stefan Roncada, as we take a look at our Thor starting grid, Matt Walker, Josh Hansen, there's Roncada. Also a guy you want to watch out for, Nathan Ramsey. A former champion in this class coming back at 29 years of age to join some of the young kids in the gate and drop. We are on. Into the first corner they come through. It's number 68 that will lead them out, and that's Josh Hansen. Did you see him throw the one hand off the triple there, a little fluid? I'm in the lead. He has a new trainer, a new attitude. We'll see if it pays off. He is a son of a former champion, Donnie Hans. You see him take the step off there. There is a wicked off-camber turn up top there. You gotta choose your lines wisely. And Josh Hansen, right out in front. Let's see how he takes his 68. Look at that. Greg Snell was in second, but Runcata just slides right in. Number 21 on the Kawasaki claims second, but they are in dire problems right now because Hansen is all but checking out. And he saw the 25 of Nate Ramsey. Nate Dog back from a broken femur last year. Back of the motorcycle says he loved the four-stroke 250F. He has been having a good time riding. I've seen some photos of him whipping it, having a good time. And whoa, take a look here. Moving to the inside, the number 53 bike showing a wheel. That's uh, Bobby Canary. As he comes through, we'll give you a quick look at the TSO running order. It's Hanson, Runcata, Ramsey, and Canary. Schnell slides back to fifth. And then Brock Sellers rounds out the top six. And you can see the capacity crowd on hand, checking it out, having a good time. Look at the different methods. Canary going double, double, double. Nate Ramsey skimming the top and making the move, and then oh. Bobby Canary having a hard time there. Nate Ramsey making it look easy. As Cameron pointed out, here's a guy that's really a hard luck story, had a broken leg, came back, and it does not look like he's having any problems making the adjustment. Meanwhile, Canary on board the Suzuki trying to get back into his position, but it's Hanson, Roncada, and Ramsey right now going one, two, and three as we take a look at this battle for fourth. And that's the 61 Kawasaki of Troy Adams having some great performances as of late. After the U.S. Open, he had a great evening, finishing third overall, if I'm not mistaken. And back to the leader, Josh Hanson. What? I don't think anybody would have predicted this one. He was going to come out and burn this one up, but he has his mirror full right now of Ron Ron. Stefan Roncada is coming up. Look at him set up on the inside. Can't get it done. Hanson with a great job to get around that attempted block pass, but Roncada's got a handful of throttle and he's coming back. I think Stefan was playing it a little bit nice there. He could have put that wheel in and given a little handy uh, a little bit more than he <laughs> wanted probably, but it is the first race of the year. We don't want to start the war, and hey, Look why that. knock him around when you can pass him cleanly in that wolf section? Roncada to the lead. So it now becomes Ron Cotta in first, Hanson in second, and don't look now, but here comes Ramsey in third. A lot of people picking Nate Ramsey to win this championship. He has the experience, a former title.
title list, I should say, and he has just been riding great. Can Nate Ramsey catch our leaders? We'll have to wait and find out. This is the 125 West from Anaheim. move across put on some weight some strength does he have the endurance that's the question nate ramsey right now coming right up over the triple jump they don't look over at each other but nate's got the line here we'll see what hansen does he lets him go by doesn't try to go the outside in and right now nate ramsey moves into second place josh hansen back to third and stefan roncotta getting a little bit of breathing room out front remember nine goes to the main event and right now that ninth man is casey Lattle, a guy back in business of motocross racing he is the man on the bubble the man behind him michael blows but right now these guys out towards the front of the pack getting away with it ken hanny put a little bit of battle together here it looks like he's kind of slipping back josh hansen trying to get back remember he was in first place he has slid back to third but as cameron so aptly put it Remember, the top nine will go to the main event, so you don't want to show too much tire, too much of your best line. You want to save it for the big show. Stefan Roncotta, number 21, on board the Kawasaki, continues to lead. In second place is number 25, Nate Ramsey on the Honda. And in third, riding the blue Yamaha, that's Josh Hansen. I'll tell you what, I don't know if Stefan Roncotta is slowing down or Nate Ramsey's just catching up to him, but Ramsey is on a mission. Definitely putting the squeeze on, squeezing down the amount of room. Now, I want to point out there's a couple little sections in this course where there's some step-on, step-offs. You can see it right there where Roncotta stepped off. They actually catch their rear tire, and this is the last lap. It's kind of a little bit of a dangerous section. You know, if you let off just a little bit, you could get tossed over the handlebars. Right now, last lap battle. Can Ramsey pull in on Roncotta? Both using similar lines there, jumping out, getting over this triple, no problem. Roncotta knows he's back there. He can make a wide bike, make it hard to pass. Not a small guy, Stefan Roncotta. Here he comes, Nate Ramsey on the inside, just flies with that whoop section. Does he get him here? He doesn't, but he does look like he was looking to jump up there, maybe block him in the berm. Nate is a smart rider, though. He knows he doesn't have to win right. this. This isn't the main event for the points. He can sit back, he'll have the second, there, you know, third or fourth pick on the gate if he ends up where he's at right now. Not a bad place to pick, but hey, it's all about pride. You want to win. You color your team, yourself. First race of the season wouldn't be bad to win your heat race. Stefan Roncotta has one more big right turn to go. Nathan Ramsey looks like he's going to show him a little more tire. Just cannot square it off. And the victory in heat number two goes to 21. Stefan Roncotta, Nate Ramsey gives him a shake. What a tremendous race, folks. And as Cameron pointed out, this is just a heat race. We have yet to get to the main event. Meanwhile, Casey Lytle, who was in transfer position, Cameron, may have just lost it. That's going to hurt the Pro Circuit Kawasaki team. A set of aces. Ivan Tedesco winners heat number one. And Stefan Roncotta pulling in the goods here in moto number two. Everything's coming up green in heat number two. It's Stefan Roncotta, Nate Ramsey in second, Josh Hansen in third. Then it's Canary and Troy Adams. Let's send it down to Jamie. Cameron, you got that right. Who would have known Kawasaki four strokes sweeping the first 125 heat races? And unbelievable. Stefan, it's so good to see your face back up here on the podium. Well, you know, that's the way it's got to be for Kawasaki. You know, I mean, they've done a tremendous amount of job of walking those bikes and the uh, they are they're really good, you know, they really deserve, you know, to be up there. So I'm really glad I could put my, uh, my KX250 up in the podium in that heat race. You know, yeah. Stefan, you, you've gone back and forth, 250, 125. Oh, you can it's ride anything. Yeah. I think a lot of people forget you are a 2000 125 champ. Yeah, you know, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to, uh, to come back to 125, because in 2000, that was a hell of a year for me. And, you know, it was lots of fun, and uh, 
I'm really looking forward to having another, another year like money? that because there was uh, tons of fun, you know, and hopefully I can put that career up there. All right, well, he's got the East Coast Championship wrapped up in 2000. Now he's trying for the West Coast Championship. Thanks, Jamie. Well, the fans are bundled up for some more action. It's still in the low 40s, a little chilly out here. But hey, it's time now for the Suzuki Question of the Week. Hi, I know this is Brian Gray's first Supercross. Is he nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I'm more anxious than anything to get it over with. And uh, thanks for asking the Suzuki Question of the Week. And we'll take a look at the LCQ starting grid. It's the Thor starting grid as the 30 board is up. There you see Nyes in there, Watts, Owens, Blows, Blair. Lytle's also in there. He had his problems, Cameron, in the earlier races. We'll see if he can qualify. Remember, this is the last chance qualifier. We've going, we're going eight laps, 20 riders, only the top four go to the main event. Everyone else could go on the concourse and get themselves an Anaheim dog. Well, someone to know, Brian Gray, back in Suzuki, and the pro circuit Cali rider, Matt Walker, in this race. And it looks like the 41 of Brian Gray getting out in front right away, but the 238 bike jumping right to the inside. That's Sleater moving up. Michael Sleater from Escondido, California. Took a great line, Cameron, and just punched right around him. This is the first Supercross ever for Brian Gray. He had some brilliant performances in the outdoors. As you see him making the move and the whoops, getting through smoothly. Here they come to the triple. Will they all get over it? Some of the guys back in the pack will probably start to double, but right now a guy is soaring as we see the 41 of Brian Gray out front. So Brian Gray takes them into the green flag lap. As we pointed out, this is the LCQ, or last chance qualifier in the 125 class. They are going eight laps. There's 20 riders, only the top four move on. For everyone else, Cameron, the night is complete. Brian Gray trying to make amends for not advancing in his earlier race. And you can see the mechanics over there putting out their scoreboards and the clock, uh, the scoring coming through Gray. Leader Richie Owens from Wildemar, California, out near Lake Elsinore, running up there in third and Watts in fourth. The story, Walker, far back in tenth as we watch our leader, our top two riders, Brian Gray, moving smoothly but not able to shake Sleater. Well, this is such a difficult situation, Cameron. These LCQs, everyone wants to race. They came, they prepared. This is the opener, and to not to make the main event, that is just devastating. You lose another big race against the best riders in the 125 West. These two guys are qualifying right now. As we said, it's only four laps. Four guys continue on. The scary battle is back on the bubble where guys will be headed to the shower if they're fifth or worse. These two guys probably don't need to risk taking each other out for first or second. They're going to be happy to make it through the main. And Brian Gray making the main in his first attempt is not a bad way to go. As we look back just a bit, it looks like Casey Lytle is trying to make some moves back there on the KTM. Lytle's moved into fourth place, just getting ahead of Watts right now. So Watts has moved back into a precarious situation. Taylor Watts of Midland, Texas, on board the Yamaha YZ250, right now will not be in a qualified position unless he gets up into that top four. And Casey Lytle trying to get some distance. But look at 80. 80 is moving up on Watts, so Watts has got all kinds of problems. Josh Summy moving in there. He doesn't want to be counted out. Sumay just, he's an awesome rider. He, he's kind of someone that hasn't been seen a ton, but he's been making great moves over the last year. And we've got a rider down, a difficult situation for him. And Cameron, I'll tell you, you said it, it can change in an instant. It really can, and you never know what's gonna happen. The 65 bike down in the dirt. Kawasaki, tough break right there. Richie Owens out of Wildemar, California on the Kawasaki 250. Just got tangled up to that whoop section, having no luck. Meanwhile, Brian Gray continues to lead as we take a look at the Tiso. Running order, it's Gray, Sleater, and Owens. And folks, the white flag is out. That's how tough it is. Another rider's down right before the finish line. And right now, Gray continues to lead. Casey Lytle has moved up to third, and Sume moving into the fourth place. Qualifying position. As we look back, there's Lytle. There's Josh, who's been looking great. 
And this is your fifth place battle back there. Four, three riders together. They're all looking to try to get apart of that number 80 motorcycle. And he's got a little bit of breathing room right now. If he doesn't bobble, he should be safe. But you never know with riders set back there behind you, the 83 Michael Pelos, a solid performer at many times in Supercross. And Definitely one of the guys that can make a move, and we'll see what happens as we move through this final lap of Brian Gray, the man of the moment. Gray, Sleater, and Lytle going one, two, and three as we make the final turns here, and it will be Brian Gray who picks up the victory, so Gray qualifies. Only the top four move on. Gray's in, Sleater's in, and is Casey Lytle. So number 55, despite his problems, gets into a qualifying position, and Josh Summy also will move on. So blows nine watts, just missing out. As we take a look at the final results in the 125 West LCQ, it's Brian Gray picking up the victory in the transfer position. Michael Sleater, Casey Lytle, and Josh Summy, one, two, three, and four. Michael blows, just misses out. His night is done. It's now time for our Nissan Rider Profile. I'm Andrew Short, I'm from Marietta, California. I just moved there from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I ride for MotorRacing.com Suzuki in the 250 class, and I'm riding 125 West this year, and 250 is on the East Coast. Yeah, I just got married in September. I got married to Jackie Hudson, and uh, she's from Texas. I grew up at the races with her, racing. And, uh, we got married and we both got riding. Everyone's like, oh, you're fast, couple. Yeah, but we just have fun at the track. And that's, you know, it's, it's good for both of us because we like what we do. We have fun. We have a lot of friends and family there. So it's good. It'll be a good year. I think she helps me a lot. And I have a lot of a lot of goals this year. And one's to win one point five West and to win as many races as I can. And I can do it. And it's going to be a fun year for me. And if it doesn't go, the way I want it to. I just want to do as good as I can and win as many races as I can. We'll be back with more 125 West Supercross racing in just a moment. Welcome back to Anaheim, California, Edison International Field. It's now time for the 125 main event. The 30 board is up, and we have got a lot of talent on the line. Everyone trying to make their mark here in the opening round of the Supercross Series. Stefan Roncada looked very impressive in his race, as did Ivan Tedesco, but Nathan Ramsey looked awesome. One man that knows Ramsey very well joining us in the booth, three-time defending champ of the 250 class, Ricky Carmichael. But right now, the 125s are off and running. We'll see who grabs the Butterfinger hole shot. Right to the front of the pack, Cameron. Once again, it's the green, and look at that. Ivan Tedesco followed by Josh Hansen. Ricky? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so excited. The first race, man. I just, my adrenaline is pumping. It's unreal, man. These guys are, these guys are awesome. It's going to be a good race for sure. I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm loving it. Ivan Tedesco made the jump over from Kawasaki. Got pushed out by Josh Hansen, but he's regained the lead right now. So it's Tedesco and Hansen going one and two, and then Roncada in third. And Ricky, this has got to be the first time for you that you've been a spectator in this sport in years. <laughs> yeah, it has. I'll tell you, I've had, a, I've had a good run for the last seven years. I've been wide open, and uh, it's tough, but I'm having, a, I'm having a great time being a fan and uh, watching some good racing. It's, it, it's fun to be a fan for once, so but hopefully not, not too long. I know everyone in the, in the world wants to know what is the prognosis on your knee and how soon will we see you back racing? Uh, I'll be ready for the outdoors. You know, uh, probably could squeeze out a couple supercrosses, but uh, I'm gonna wait, do it 100%, and be back ready for outdoor and uh, start the second half of my career. Outstanding news. Well, right now it is Ivan Tedesco out in front as we go back and look at the Butterfinger hole shot, Cameron. From the get-go, Team Green was on it. Definitely, Ivan Tedesco got a good jump right out of the gate, coming right out of that middle section ahead there in the first pseudo corner the butterfinger hole shot doesn't count until they get over this first obstacle you can see actually there's the white line there at the butterfinger right before that corner ivan tedesco cleanly through and he is right now continuing leaders you see the guys pack up there at the start ivan actually had a couple of small bobbles here in the main event so far but 
We've been talking about him quite a bit all weekend long. Ivan Tedesco has been a man on a mission. He won his first Supercross last year at Pontiac, Michigan. And right now his teammate, Ron Ron, Stefan Roncata, has moved up into second place. And we're going to head back. We're looking for, there he is, the 25, the teammate of Ricky Carmichael, Nate Ramsey. And what does he make the move right now, Ricky? Does he does he push hard or does he play it smart? You know, I think Nate Dog has a lot of experience, and I think he's going to uh, wait for about the halfway mark and then, uh, you know, let his fitness kick in. He's got a lot of experience for running the 250s in the years past, and uh, he's riding good. You know, he's going to stay calm and uh, try to chomp away at the lead as, as the race goes on. Ricky brings up a great point. This is a 15-lap race, so no need to panic on one lap. Just let the race come to you, which I know, Ricky, you've done many times before. Talk about Ivan Tedesco, though. What's the benefit, though, of having a teammate right behind you? Well, I think I was, I was going to say earlier, you know, these guys are probably pretending, you know, that they're at the Kawasaki track and uh, riding together like a normal day during the week. So they're probably actually really, really comfortable right now. And in a race situation, that is pretty good for them. So... Uh, it, you know, for those two guys, it's good. It could be dangerous for everyone else. So, we'll, you know, we'll see how it plays out. It's so early in the race. These guys are, uh, you know, they're going for it. Looks like Nathan Ramsey just made a pass for, uh, for the fourth position there. Well, Nate on the move as uh, we take a look back, looking at the positions. Josh Hansen continues to circle in third place. Nate Ramsey up to fourth. And talk about the experience, the cool collective calm. And... He knows what it takes. He has a championship. I also want to point out, as Jamie Little stated earlier, Stefan Roncata also has a championship from the East Coast, so no stranger to being a smart racer as we watch Nate Ramsey. At the test track, is he the kind of guy that attacks all the time, Ricky, or does he kind of plot his laps out? Are we going to see no. just consistent times from him? Yeah, I think he's going to be consistent, but also he tries really, really hard. He's a real aggressive rider, and... Uh, you know, he, he, he gives it 110%. That's why I think uh, as this race wears on, he's going to get move up and move up. I mean, he looks like he's catching the guy in front of him right now. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Right in front of Nate Ramsey is Hanson, number 68, on board the Yamaha. And Ricky is exactly right. With every rotation of that wheel, Ramsey is getting just a little bit closer as the lap times get closer together. This is a 15-lap race, and your leader right now, Ivan Tedesco, Stefan Roncada out in front, Kawasaki going one and two. Right now, actually, uh, Nathan Ramsey has a second fast lap with a 103, and Tedesco is turning a 102. So Tedesco's riding good. You know, he got a good start, and uh, that helps out a lot. You can get out there and get a clean track and, uh, you know, just get out there. He has no problem. So he's, he's riding good. He's starting to get a little breathing room. So... We'll see, what, see how it plays out. We'll step aside. When we come back, we will have more of the 125 main event from Anaheim, California. It's Tedesco, Roncada, Hanson, and Ramsey. We are back in Anaheim, California. This is the 125 main event. Nate Ramsey, number 25, putting the pressure on Hanson. He's a teammate of Ricky Carmichael, who joins us in the booth. And Ricky, if you're his coach, what do you tell him to do right now? You know, I just tell him to, you know, be calm and don't get caught up behind Hanson. You know, make a clean pass on him. Don't force the issue. But, uh, you know, don't stay behind him too long. He's got to drive forward. The top two guys are starting to stretch it out a little bit on him. And uh, he can't let those guys get away. He's got to make a pass. But... Uh, be in control at the same time you know don't don't press the issue but i think he's going to make it here in this lap by the looks of it well, you talk about coaches ricky we know josh hansen has a, a new coach and is seemingly paying off running top three right now or possibly fourth pretty soon here yeah he's uh he looks like he's turning it around and uh, you know with the way the sport is going man you got to be a hundred percent in shape and oh he just got nathan just got by him so that's good for nate dog and we'll see how hansen uh, hangs in there man he's riding a lot better this year nathan ramsey the only rider out there to have won a 250 cc race so he knows experience he knows how to race and folks he races with the best in the world that is ricky carmichael so nate ramsey now sets his sights on the green and that is stefan roncotta right in front of him and the leader continuing the 29 hot sauce as they call him ivan tedesco from New Mexico, this guy Man. is just smooth all the time. Ricky's got a great Yo. style, loves to whip it. Yeah, he's on he's on a rail right now, 
tell you guys, he is just, uh, he's in a rut. He's, uh, he's liking that, uh, the, the four stroke there. It's hooking up good on the hard pack. And, uh, but I tell you, Nate Dogg's slipping up on, on Stefan Roncada. We gotta keep an eye on that. I think, uh, man, he's really chomping away. He's made up a lot of time just in, in, in the last lap. The Tiso running order shows that it's Tedesco, Roncada, Ramsey, and Hanson. Then you have Adams, Short, Sellers, and Johnson. Schnell and Preston round out the top ten. Tough night for Travis Preston. I think a lot of people expected him to be in the top three. Meanwhile, Stefan Roncada currently running in second. There you see our interval time. But Ron Ron, really, it's so good to see him healthy. Not only healthy, you guys run in the top three. Well, the guy's kind of the master of all motorcycles, switching around, whether it's a 250 or a 125. I mean, Rick, it's got to be tough to switch back and forth. We see, though, a battle there, a little bit of a, a little touch there. What? Rubin's racing, though, right, Rick? Yeah, you know, Rubin is racing, and uh, today everyone's getting so competitive, and, you know, nobody wants to do anything to, to jeopardize uh, taking themselves out, so you kind of have to be careful. Well, you know, I never want to take a shot at anybody unless you absolutely have to. It looks like Josh Hansen right now being challenged by Andrew the Motor Short World on the Racing. inside. Yeah. Andrew Short, number 32. Josh Hansen, number 68. And that's a, that's that's a, a, a spot pass. where, yeah, it's a good spot. And Hansen's smart about it. He knows that the Short's there, and he could have got greedy and tried to stick it in there, but he might have got taken out, you know? So uh, he gave up the spot, but it was clean. He continues the race. He still has a chance, and we're only on the eighth lap right now so still plenty of time and that's something andrew short needs he's been going he's, great yeah he's riding good and too a lot of people losing sight he's the only guy right now in the in the top five <laughs> that that is on a two stroke so you got to hand it to him this is uh this is definitely catering to to a four stroke right now this track the nate dog out there closing in the gap a little bit he's definitely pushing it up on stefan roncada we're going to step aside, take a quick break, and we come back to Anaheim, California, more of the 125 main event. Back 125 West, Supercross Racing. Ivan Tedesco continuing to lead and having a clean race. No bobbles and no problems. Uh, we want to... Give a shout out, Roncada is in third, followed by Adam Short, Hanson, Sellers, Schnell, Preston, and Gosler are your top 10. And here is your battle right now between Troy Adams on the Kawasaki in fourth place and Andrew Short on the number 32 Suzuki. These guys have been going at it for laps and laps, and look at that. Adam just pulled up. Ricky, what's up with that? <laughs> That could have been rough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, that that could have turned dangerous, but uh, he checked up and he did the right thing, let the guy go by, and you know made made a safe situation out of it. But I tell you, uh, there's Brock Sellers there battling it out with his teammate Hanson. No love lost to Team Blue right now. Everyone's trying to get the most points possible because, as Ricky knows better than anyone else, when you get down to Salt Lake in Las Vegas, every single point counts. Yes, it does. You know, and that's the thing. It's a second sometimes is as good as first. Yeah. It's, it's a long series. And short continuing right now, going around the course in fourth place. Your leader, Ivan Tedesco, winding the laps down, ticking him down. They're coming up just a little bit short. These are the things, like Ricky was saying, one mistake. If he comes up just a little bit shorter on that, he could be doing a little bit of a nose wheelie into that whoop section, which would not be comfortable. I promise you that. Well, I think Ricky's right. Nathan Ramsey has been patient, letting the race come to him, and I don't know if Ivan's backing off just a little bit, but he better get on the throttle. I'm sure his pit board's going to say something to that effect because here comes Nate Ramsey, about 30 yards behind him, maybe three seconds off his pace as they make the turn to the finish line one more time. And you can see Nathan actually made a mistake there in that section. For those of you watching closely, he had been doubling and then tripling into that, and that time he had to double, double, and double onto the top. Ricky, yeah. the end of the race, you start getting tired, fatigued. I mean, you start thinking, I, I, maybe I should just chill out a little bit. Yeah, you know, he may be thinking that. I'm sure he's probably somewhat happy, you know, just to be, right now he has a pretty secure podium if he keeps it on two wheels, which I'm confident he will. But, uh, you know, when he's that close to the win, he, he may be disappointed. But I tell you, for, for all the things that he's gone through, you, you definitely got to give it up for him. He's, he's riding good, and uh, he's being really, really consistent on that, on that new 250F. 
Nathan Ramsey coming back from serious leg injury. It's good to see him, as Ricky pointed out, just up and riding. Doing very good right now to stay patient, trying to find his spot. But give credit to Ivan Tedesco, number 29, our current leader on the Kawasaki. He has not flinched, he has not blinked, and he is really doing a great job with the pressure on him as the white flag comes out. It's the final lap here on the 125 main event. Tedesco out in front, Ramsey sits in second. And those two riders have quite a nice gap uh, going back to third place. They're relatively safe. So this looks like how it's going to finish. Whether or not there's a problem, I don't know. But they are definitely on the same half of the same straightaways now. Nate Ramsey is not just on the same straight. He is getting close. But I think he's going to run out of time here, Ricky. Yeah, I do too. You know, I think it's going to take a major mistake for Ivan. Uh, to, to not win this race, but you never know. I, I think if he makes it through these set of hoops, it, uh, it's pretty much secure at this point. So uh, we'll see what happens. That's the thing about racing, you never know. <laughs> Ivan Tedesco enjoying it just a little bit, showing the fans a little something. Meanwhile, Ramsey is all business, still thinking he can pull it in. And I gotta give him credit, he has not given up. I mean, this guy is like a pit bull with a bone. But I think his dream is about coming to an end here because Ivan Tedesco has ridden just a magnificent race from start to finish. Your winner, 125 main, Ivan Tedesco. And throwing the whip out in fine fashion there. Your teammate Ricky, Nate Ramsey, coming through. A little nod of the head. He's yeah. happy but disappointed at the same time. And <laughs> I, hey, man, I think it, it, it's going to be a good series with these two guys. And that, that was a, a great race. Congratulations to Ivan Tedesco. Going little ghost rider. We want to thank Ricky Carmichael for his expertise, expertise announcing job. We may not be safe up here, Cameron. We'll be uh, back to Anaheim for more in a conclusion of the 125 when we come back. And all terrain vehicles. We are back in Anaheim, California, Edison International Field. Right now, let's sit it down to the field and Jamie Little. Well, Ricky Carmichael said it. If we have these three riders in the top three all season long, we're going to have one heck of a season. Tell me about that run and tell me about the pass that uh, Nate Ramsey made on you. Well, you know, Nate Dog's been, uh, been faster than me uh, in those roofs the whole night. You know, it's going really fast over there. And I knew he was going to get me there if I slowed down, you know. And I, I had a little bit of problem from back there. Side panel fell off for some reason and I was getting hooked on it. And so that was pretty interesting there for a little bit. So, you know, they had me back a little bit and Nate Dog turned on me and, uh, you know, he had the best of me in the roofs and I was going really good. But it was a great fight, you know. It's all three of us, so yeah, it's going to be good. Good night for your uh, your new team, new teammates. Congratulations. Yeah, you know, it's awesome that, that, uh, that, uh, that I haven't won. You know, it's, it's great for the team, you know. Well, both on the podium, uh, it's even better that one of us won. You know, it proves that the, uh, the KX 250F is uh, the back to beat this year. So, you know, it's going to be a good year for us and for Kawasaki. Okay. okay, guys. All right, thank you very much, Jamie. As we take a look at our final results in the 125 main, our Honda final results look like this. It's Ivan Tedesco picking up the victory, followed by Nathan Ramsey, Stefan Roncotta in third, Andrew Short, and Troy Adams, your top five in the main event. A good run for Hanson. Brock Sellers finishes in seventh. Travis Preston moves up to eighth. And there's Greg Snell and the Goose, Chris Gossler, rounding out the top ten. And let's set it back down to Jamie one more time. Nathan Ramsey was the rider we all had our eyes on. I was over there with your mechanic. We were watching the board. He just kept saying, charge, this is it. You can do it. Number 29, tell me about your race, Nathan. Did you really think that you were going to be able to make that pass and move up to the very front? Well, you know, he got off to a really good start, you know, and uh, I, I kind of got a bad start and got caught up in the mix, you know, and you, it, it cost you time, and, and that's, that's my fault. You know, my, my Honda CRF 250 was just running so good, and through the whoops, it was awesome, and... You know, I felt good on the bike. I just, like I say, I got a little bit of a bad start. But, hey, you know, it's racing. And, you know, you got to get a good start if you, if you want to win. I was just, I was trying my hardest to catch up to him and uh, just didn't, ran out of time. Well, he seems a little disappointed, but that's the way this guy is. Coming off an injury, it's so good to see him back here. All right, thank you, Jamie. As we take a look at our Road to Vegas series points, because that's where everyone wants to be. And everyone wants to be in first place when we do get to Vegas, because we will crown a champion. Congratulations to Ivan Tedesco as we take a look at the points. And by virtue of the big victory tonight, it is Ivan Tedesco who's out in front. He will be followed by Nate Ramsey, Stefan Roncotta, Andrew Short, and Troy Adams rounding out the top five. Let's go back down to Jamie who is standing by with the 125 main event winner, Ivan Tedesco. On fire tonight. You know, 
Ivan Tedesco, we've seen this guy on the podium a few times, but you never looked back tonight. You led every single lap of every race you were in tonight. Yeah, you know, my Kawasaki G50F is really good. We tested a lot with it, and uh, yeah, I got both hole shots in the heat race and the main event, and uh, you know, ended up taking the win, and hopefully I can keep the ball rolling next week and uh, win this championship. Could you hear Nathan Ramsey at all behind you? I know he's, he's on that loud thumper as well, but you guys, you were going for it, and he was gaining on you there, it seemed, in the end. Yeah, I can hear the crowd, and they were getting into it, and uh, I saw Nate Dog coming. Uh, I, I rode a little tight that race, and uh, he, he was catching me, and I just need to work on that a little bit, and hopefully, uh, you know, keep, keep on uh, getting some wins like I am. You rode a little tight. I don't think so. We <laughs> didn't see it. The lead you had. Great job tonight. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'd like to thank my team. They did a great job on my bike, uh, Pro Circuit Kawasaki. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank Thor and, uh, you know, my family, my girlfriend, trainer, uh, Dr. G, and uh, the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe out there. All right. We've got a great bunch of guys up here on the podium. You guys, it's going to be a great 125 West season. All right. Thank you very much, Jamie. Congratulations to Ivan Tedesco and Cameron. What a way to start things off here in the States. Amazing. I'm really surprised by the four strokes. In fact, the Kawasaki guys really stepping it up. Tedesco doing a great job, but three Kawasaki four strokes in the top five, four in total four strokes with uh, Nathan Ramsey in second place. And then I got to give big props. The only two stroke, Andrew Short squeaking in there in the top five. Great job by him. Congratulations to all of our riders in the 125 class. On behalf of Jamie Little, I'm Todd Harris for Cameron Steele saying good night from Anaheim, California. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.